Uh, we're going to talk about like pornography and relationships. How does it affect your relationship? Does it help? Does it hurt? Are you addicted? Is your partner addicted? You know, I have this I have this thing like I wrote it on the uh, on the outline too. porn is like a dunk contest. And I say porn is like a dunk contest because there are dunkers out there that could never play in a real NBA game. So they can go out there, they can windmill, they can like 360, throw between the legs, ah, do all that. But then when it comes to like the game, dunk packages are like 40. But when it comes, ah, that's a windmill. That's like a two hand. That's some. That's a. That's a shit. stiff windmill. It's a. It's. I mean, I got a limited space windmill. Okay. This is in traffic. This is windmill in traffic. I got Shaq on one. I got Shaq on one side. I got David Robinson on the next side. Um, you never. You could never slide between those two. <laughs> I'm not even gonna let you pretend. Um, never. But yeah, I, I, it's like porn is like a dunk contest, right? It's all the extravagant shit. But when it comes down to it, like, can you guard a pick and roll? You know what I'm saying? Like, can you pick up your man 94 feet when you need to? And that's what like real. I guess like sex or a real relationship is like a real relationship is a four quarter, 48 minute undertaking. So do you have what it takes? 48 minutes, Jeez. 48 minute undertaking. Uh, undertaking. No halftime. <laughs> halftime is when you sleep. That's it. Halftime is when you sure. sleep for a few hours. <laughs> but, um, a few hours. for a few hours. So, um, I, I referenced an article, uh, by Dr. Robert T. Muller. And he references okay. like a bunch of different stuff. Like one of the, the best things in an article that I saw was that they did a, a study back in the... <laughs> Yo, what happened? The best things that you saw. Let me hear the best things <laughs> that you saw from this article. Let so one it. of the best points that were made in the article uh, is that back in the 80s, he ran a study and the study showed that after guys watch porn, they find their significant others less attractive. So they ran that that same study a few years ago. I think it was back in 2016, 2015. And they saw that there was no change. But there was a change in the satisfaction that, you know, the male partner had from the women partner after, like, watching a considerable amount of pornography. Um, And it becomes like a thing in relationships because you don't want your man or your woman to become engulfed in this world and not engulfed with you or not involved with you. Um, yeah. I mean, how do you feel? Like, do you think it could have a negative effect on intimacy in a relationship? Um, I definitely think you need to be wary of um, the effect that it could have on intimacy because mm-hmm. it could have an effect, right? So the last thing you want, right? Like everybody's entitled to do whatever they want in their spare time, right? But the last thing you want is to allow something to become a distraction from your partner. Yes. So if now you prefer this clip you know what i'm saying of whatever's in your nasty why did, why did you do box. this when you said this clip that's some nasty shit what did you watch what is on your screen am i on your screen no, what is on your screen right now pause yeah you're on my screen but you gotta chill okay um no seriously uh i think that as long as it doesn't take away like you're not I'd rather watch this than satisfy or be satisfied with my partner. Yeah. Then that's when it becomes unhealthy, right? Mm-hmm. Or like, or if it now hinders you from being able to perform for your partner. So those to me are the two things that are like very important. You want to go ahead and watch, go watch, go crazy. Like you want to like learn new moves, new positions, fine. But just don't let it take away from the intimacy that you should be having with your partner. So just make sure you got enough in the tank, bro. Like make sure you, you know what I mean? Like that's the, that's the way I see it. If you can perform, mm-hmm. go. Yeah, I think the biggest thing about intimacy is that it's not it's not what's portrayed like in most pornographic films or scenes or movies. You know, it's it's the nigga shows up to the house, he's got some piping that he needs to lay. <laughs> and it happens just like that. You know, homegirl opens the door in the robe, the robe slips off. You love this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and that's the extent of the intimacy in a um like in a movie when intimacy is way right. more than that it's having you know conversations it's you know asking your yeah. partner what they like it's not you know f- right. forcing you know certain things on them that you see in movies that actors pretend to enjoy you know what i'm saying so sure. it has to be like a very real thing uh when you're in in your intimate with your partner 
Um, and then also in the article, it talks about like, you know, unrealistic sexual expectations. It's like, like I said, like porn is a dunk contest. Not every time down yeah. are you going to get a windmill. Sometimes. Yeah. That's another thing. Dudes get carried away. Yeah. They think they're going to get like the same tricks. You got to relax. Bro. Sometimes you got to just pull up for the mid range. Yeah. Yeah, bro. A little pump fake. One dribble pull up right there. Sweet spot. Russell Westbrook. Cash. Pull up for the mid range. Make sure you hit that sweet spot. Um, and keep like and keep it going. Like I, like you're right. Like niggas see things on porn and they do backflips. They do all kinds of things. They try to put things that should. They try to put things where things shouldn't go, or at least put things that. But, whoa. Or, huh? So whoa. Yeah, I know, right? Crazy. And then you know, people end up. Have you ever seen like that? I think it's a show on TLC where they have like they document a bunch of like crazy sexual injuries. No, I. I uh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not watching those things. No, it's interesting. <laughs> It's funny. Like, people, like, asphyxiate. You have a lot of guilty pleasure. You watch a lot of reality. I haven't really watched that too much. Like, I've seen, like, scenes of it. Um, I don't know if it's currently on right now. I mean, like, the reality stuff I watch now of Married at First Sight, which is pretty dope. It's pretty cool. I'm going to check Married at First Sight. We just got the couch in. Okay. um, And we are waiting on the TV stand to come in this week. But... I had cable, like I made sure cable was scheduled for the first week. Oh yeah, that's necessary. Playoff time. <laughs> There's bubble stuff going it's playoff on. Time. Playoff yeah, time. Indeed. We'll get to that later. Absolutely. Um ultimately to wrap up the porn, the the porn topic, man, I just think that is most important that like you like I don't think there's anything wrong with looking at film. Yeah. Right? I don't think there's anything wrong with doing research. Right? Like you gotta like you wanna add new plays to the playbook, do your research. You gotta, right? you gotta look at game tape. tape. Look at game tape. I believe that the game tape is definitely key mm-hmm. just don't make it a thing where it's like you have an unhealthy relationship with yeah it can't be a thing that is making your partner feel insecure it can't be a thing that is like we said before hindering intimacy or hindering activities that would happen you know without the porn and um does your partner need to know is that like is that right is that right to your partner i think i mean i think if they ask they should know i don't think it'd be yeah i, I don't think, think it, it I should think be something that's hidden it's not, it's not, it's not not voluntary news, though. It's not like, hey, hey, hey it's Tuesday and I'm slamming <laughs> at four. <laughs> I don't think it's do I don't that. Think it's that. But having a conversation, I mean, that having that conversation about porn is kind of like having that conversation about intimacy also, right? Like it's it's talking about yeah. things that, that get you going or things that have gotten yeah, you no, going in the sure. past or things that got you going when you were, you know, 18 or 19. So <laughs> when you was first trying it when out. When you was uh, 18 or 19, I was... Anyway, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, like it's, it's it's important to have those conversations and everybody be on the same page. You don't want to like hide shit. And, and if it gets to the point where you're like yeah. you're hiding it or you're going into rooms to watch it instead of like having time with your yeah, significant don't other, be sni- then you're in, then you're yeah. addicted. And we got a few signs of porn addiction. Yeah. Um, we okay. got 10, okay, we got 10 these. signs of porn addiction. So if you resemble any we, of these signs, the any of these signs, listeners, viewers, if you resemble any of these sounds or signs, you got a problem. First one, you can't stop. You are unable to stop using or viewing pornography despite trying to do so. So that calls. That sounds like you need a doctor. That sounds like you need a therapist. But do you remember like yeah. back in the day, um, niggas just used to watch porn on their phone on a bus. Yo, you you took some nasty queen buses, man. Yeah. Don't 85, 85 me. I was on 85. The 85. Don't you dare 85. There was some, no, there was some, I was on 85. There was some nasty niggas. There was never niggas. no orno on the on There the was some 85. nasty niggas on the 85 oh, watching like chicks just get slammed. Just like like it was nothing. I can't can't watch without playing. I I so Watch on the bus is weird. No, it's to me. it's it's weird to just watch it in general and um, watching him. Okay, signs. This should add, add this to the signs. Watching in public. You oh, you got a, a huge problem. problem. You can just sit there, big time. If you just sit there and watch in public, sick. That moment. means you can't stop. That's that sick. means you can't stop. That means that means you can't. You stop. are like sitting on the bus or sitting on the train, and like the thing pops into your head. It's like, oh, what's Tiana Trump up to? Let me find out. You love like that. That's too much. You got to be able to control yourself and stop. Absolutely. 